All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do some more openings today. They actually came in today. I didn't think they would. I didn't get really get like shipping notifications. And whenever I tried to look up the, uh, I put in the order number, try to look up where they're at. It always said like, it was said like an error or something like that, that they weren't in. And that I had to contact customer service. So I was like, okay, they're probably not coming in. Then they probably got lost in transit. I was outside and all of a sudden I saw the FedEx pulled up and he dropped off the box. So let's just go ahead and open. Uh, we'll open up the, I believe it's called Iron Valiant first. Yeah, open up the Iron Valiant. I think that's his name. I haven't pl I haven't played the game in so long. I only played the first week of release. Game was a bit of a letdown because on my Switch, I had the the OG Switch. On my Switch, the game ran really really bad. Ooh, this one actually has the. It's not like the 151 where it had that bad thing on it. Not the bad thing, the weird cover. But yeah, here's the new cards. They look pretty cool. I'm using the aerial view again of the camera just to make sure. I mean, it looked pretty good on on the on the on YouTube. It looked pretty good, so I feel like this looks better. I don't know why, but it looked more clear. Let me know if y'all like this view better. Y'all like the the view where it's in front of me. Oh, these are some cool cars. We're gonna get the want the water chomp. I do want the the coffin. That's the one everybody wants. Oh, I've skipped this page too. These are pretty cool. The gold water chomp. These, I think these two are like the biggest cards of the set, I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah, exciting cards to pull. A lot of uh, trainer galleries. They're not called trainer galleries. They're called something else, but let's just open it. All right, so we get the promo card. Ooh. Promo card looking cool. Uh, There's only one in here for some reason. Oh, there's a second one. That was weird. Right, so you get the Pokemon Center one and we get the regular one. We get the energies, the little dividers, the coins and all that. We get, I believe it's eight packs. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, sorry, 11 packs. Here's the sleeves. They still use like the matte finish sleeves. I got these first packs. But yeah, this is probably all I'm going to get for uh, Paradox Rift. I went a little too ham. A little too over budget on the 151 one so i mean maybe all right i mean if we don't get the heavy pulls i'm not like that excited about this set because i feel like 151 even though it was a subset it was like so much cooler than the rest of them that was like one of my favorite sets in a long time because i grew up with the original 151. i mean to get a thievel another thievel i grew up with the original set 151 so it's pretty cool to open and see uh i'm not gonna buy that 400 dollar uh collection whatever it's called the uh the classic collection cards i will i will not buy that for 400 dollars. no way dude oh we get an iron bundle I like the oh and a future card i like these future cards this uh oh it is reverse oh i'll keep that surskit oh and an age of slash i have to keep looking up to make sure i'm actually getting the things i don't know why i keep turning over here like the cards are over here for some reason but yeah, aerial, 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 aerial view, pretty cool. I kind of like it. I kind of like the style. That way, you see everything else is still down here. The camera, I think it looks good, pretty good on the camera. It might be because I have a, a different phone now. But I think it looks pretty good. I think there's TMs. Oh, there's a gimme goal. Pretty cool. A Wug Trio. Net Esparza. But yeah, I didn't really play the game. That much really not as much as i did sword and shield i really like sword and shield it ran pretty well even though in the what's it called the wild zone it did drop frames but it wasn't as bad as scarlet and violet i, I feel like i played the game like at 15 8, 18 fps the whole time which to me is unacceptable like i felt like i was playing like a beta and alpha the whole time because it was so slow and then but ooh, a snorlax doll a bunch of things were happening that shouldn't happen. I did stream it and some people were saying like, oh, why is your game all messed up? Like, I have no clue. So maybe just because I was running on the OG Switch. I don't know. But apparently now on the DLC, it still runs bad, just as bad. It like runs even worse. People, t I have read that people feel like they're playing on like 10 FPS. Ooh, a gibble. Which is not cool in my eyes. From the standards of Pokemon, that doesn't seem good to me. But, ooh. The reverse hollow scream to oh and a latio that's pretty cool 
Yeah, what is it like a triple A game coming out? That's not that cool. I mean, I'm uh, I'm criticizing them. So what if they want to sponsor me? But I mean, they'll never sponsor me. But it's okay. It's a little yeah. The game was a little disappointing to me. I haven't played it with Gligar. Looks pretty cool. I like that art. Ooh, and a slither wing. These arts are pretty cool. They have them pretty good on the arts. Another TM, which is kind of cool. Ooh. Oregon Pampor is pretty cool. And a Golisopod. Yeah, the arts look pretty cool in this set. I always like the claymation ones. Claymations are always funny to me. Or the yarn ones. Wool, wool ones, yarn ones, however you call it. The Feebass. A palm. There is something in the back. Pansage. I like that cartoony look. Gabite. Cyclazar. Resorturo, another future card of mine, Shao, Snorunt, Inkaton, and oh, we got a Serena EX. Let's go. Pretty cool, man. We got four more packs. Let's just keep on opening them. Yeah, I didn't think these would come in today because, like I said, uh, I looked at the order update and then it said that it's like said something like it didn't exist or whatever. They had to contact customer service, I couldn't find it anywhere. I like, ooh, the, ooh, I like this way Coco under the leaf. It's raining. Ooh, nice little horsey art too. Pretty cool. Amela. Oh, and the, ooh, we get a Professor Sadaz, Vitality. Vitality at yeah. Dooblade Do and a Garnacle. Another freaking Garnacle? I feel like that was in a different set, like a couple of sets ago. Another, like, or was a Stone Journer? I don't remember, but I remember I kept getting Stone Journer, Garnacle, whichever it one it was. A ton of times. Get a Surskit, a Wismer, another cool Porygon, another TM, which is pretty cool. I'll read those later on off camera. A Seedra, ooh, a Tandem Mouse, and ooh, a Ching Pao. Was was that an EX in the previous set? I don't remember. All right, second to last pack, Magic. Let's see if we get anything. It's just an ETB, nothing crazy in these, nothing special. But we'll see what we get. This set is a skip for a lot of people because they I did read like on the subreddits and a few pages that people are gonna like skip the set or just buy like a few packs. And after that, they're not gonna buy anymore because they went all in on 151. Ooh, which is understandable. You get the double glide score. Ooh, a Galvangela. Ooh, an Armor Edge EX. I think the what was it called? The purple one? I think the purple one's a lot cooler. I mean, this was pretty cool too. And then the last pack with the armor edge on the top. Let's see if we get some crazy magic in here. If we don't, that's okay too. All right, we got a Cedra, Magby, Vanillite, Oracorio, another Iron Bundle, a Techno Radar, a Counter Catcher, Pharaoh Seed. A Wiglet underwater, pretty cool, and another low key. Right, we go to the, I think it's called Roaring Moon. It's not called Roaring Tail or Scream Moon or Screaming Tail. No, I think it's called Roaring Moon. I don't remember. I had a, uh, did not have uh, Scarlet. I had Violet. Ooh, and a Scream Tail. One with the Pokemon Center, one without. The same sleeves. These are just, like super folded in. Pretty cool sleeves. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and I thought it was kind of weird. I also ordered sleeve booster packs, and for some reason they didn't come sleeved. They can't. They just sent four like this naked in the box, like being thrown around. I'm like, well, that's freaking weird. They usually come sleeved, but I mean, that's whatever. Let's open these next. First pack of the Roaring Moon, I think it's called. But yeah, it's kind of weird. They didn't send it sleeve like they usually do, but I mean, it's okay. They're not, they don't look damaged. There's nothing like crazy valuable in this set. As far as I know, I haven't looked at the prices yet, but ooh, another slither wing. But we'll see. We still have, ooh, my, another Milotic in the set. We haven't got any, uh, or illustration rares, trainer galleries. I always forget what they're called. We haven't got any yet. Let's see if we can get one out of these two ETBs. Nothing crazy. I feel like my luck has run dry from all those. Other packs we've opened. I do miss the shiny air energies too. Well, that Porygon 2 looks pretty cool. Oh, we get a claymation one. 
an artillery. I'm gonna go bat. Ink a ton. Ooh. Hatsugiri, another dragon card. Earthen vessel. A tulip. Another ooh, the tulip is Sparta line. And oh, are you kidding me? Yo, like don't tell me this isn't rigged. They get a tulip and a Sparta and then a freaking full art tulip. That's pretty cool. It says uh, put up to four in any combination of psychic Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard. That's a pretty good card. You want like in a Sparta line deck or like the Alakazam EXs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty funny. You got all these three together. Pretty cool, man. Well, at least we get one decent hit so far. Looks like the Roaring Moon box is winning so far after just... Like, was that just one pack or two packs? Let's just keep on opening them. If we get anything else. Looking for at least one illustration rare. Ooh, that Snorunt. Another TM. Minior. Ooh, and a reverse Hollow Gibble. A Blip Bug. Another Garnacle. Yeah, let's just try and get one of these freaking uh, illustration rares. Haven't got any yet. I think that's what they're called. Illustration rares. I think Crown Zenith was a uh, Crown Zenith with Galarian Gallery. I don't remember. Yeah, another Wismer medical and another iron bundle. A lot of iron bundles coming out. Woo! Get a hollow iron bundle. Another Glygar and a more Piku. Token has no energy attached. It has no retreat cross. It's kind of funny. The next pack. Let's just keep on going with these packs. I did buy two booster bundles. I will upload those. Oh my God, I just hit the camera. We'll upload those as shorts. We'll see them later on after these. Let's see if the booster bundles still provide that better value for those. The Donzo of Elusa. And the game, these are kind of funny because they were like, for now, ooh, double reverse hollows. And ooh, we get the coffin, the EX. Gold Combat, this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. I mean, that's pretty cool, but I mean, you do lose two prize cards. That's the only bad thing. Go for the next pack. But yeah, 151 was really fun. This is probably going to be the only things I buy from Paradox Rift. I mean, at least, it's, at least it seems better than uh, Obsidian Flame. Obsidian Flame is not that hard to top. It wasn't the best set ever. 151 has been one of like the biggest best sets I feel like they've sent out in like the past two or three years. And then we get, ooh, a Palkia. That's pretty cool. That's in the game now, I guess. That's pretty cool. That means there's also a Dialga. So I'm up this next pack. Yeah, but like I said, this is probably the only Paradox Rift videos I'm gonna be uploading this and the two booster bundles. Not really crazy about it. I already spent a lot of money on 151. I also opened up those Japanese cards. I was thinking of getting the, what's it called? Roaring Waters or whatever. Oh, and we do get one. We get a Blitzel. Let's go. Like how it's like lit their horns are lighting up the forest. That's pretty cool. And oh, we get an Iron Maw. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we finally get one. Let's go. Two cool hits. All right, so uh, I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's an illustration rare. It's probably not. But yeah, let's open up this next one. Paradox Rift. New set, Paradox Rift Day. Basic energy. I do kind of miss the shiny ones. That is a bad thing. I will say that. That the 151 dude, not the shiny ones, but the hollow ones with the swirls and the, not the graffiti, the whatever. Ooh, and a semi-pore. Luxurious cape and a Wu Chin. I think those are EX cards before. Now they just made them like regular basic cards. That's a kind of cool. All right, then let's do this. Oh, I did see something in the back. An on oh, an Onyx. Little Vanillux, a Defiance vest, Durant. We get a Porygon, a Jirachi. Ooh. Yeah, they brought some of the legendaries back. Ooh, and a Frost. Ooh. Frost last EX, but it's grass type. And it but it needs water energy, which is kind of funny. This point is for an active spot. It's not that flip a coin of heads. Your opponent takes one fewer prize card. That's pretty cool. I know there's like some cards that let you like re-roll 
heads or tails, whatever, but I don't know if they're legal in this format. They let you re-roll if you don't get the right roll the first time. Yeah, let's go to the next pack. So far, this uh, thing is called Roaring Moon. Box is a lot better than the other one. Like these might be the way to go. Another Mela. Been getting a bunch of those. An A Pawn. Ooh, a Brute Bonnet. Pretty cool. I like these hollow ones with like the ancient different forms. All right. One more pack. Last pack, Magic Time. Can we get that Iron Valiant or Roaring Moon? Or one of those special illustration rares. One of the, the Gimme Ghoul. Can we get that card? Let's see. Remember to like and subscribe to see if we get that big card here. More content going to be uploaded. Check out my previous videos. Opened up a Japanese 151 booster box. Really fun opening. And a Wug Trio, a Techno Radar, a Honage. Are you getting no illustrations? And we get, ooh, we get a Chi Du. All right, let's go to recap. Boop. We'll go to the Iron Valiant bundle first. Get the Chin Pao, the Garnacle, the Golisopod, the Scream Tail, the Latios, the Low Kicks, the Sparta, the Thievil. The Aegis Slash EX, the Serena EX, and we get the Armor Edge EX. Now for the Roaring Moon, I think that's what it's called. My bad if it ain't. Get the Chi Yu, the Brute Bonnet, the Wu Ching, the Iron Moth, the Palkia, the Morpiku, Garnacle, the Milotic. We get the Coffin EX. We get the Frostlass EX. And then we also got the Tulip. You know me, I always pull these cards and the cool. My favorite one so far is the Blitzel. But yeah, thanks for coming out. Much love, much respect. I am going to open some more stuff. I still have these two to open. I'll upload them as shorts. They'll be two separate ones. But yeah, thanks for coming out. Much love, much respect. I don't have a plushie here again to say bye. But then I'll just use the Paradox Rift box. I'll see y'all later. See you. Goodbye.